Hey guys, so there's recently been some pretty big news involving science and involving people's choice in t-shirts. And I know you probably already heard about it, and I don't need to repeat myself, but Kim Kardashian has been slammed for an offensive science shirt. It's irresponsible for someone as popular and well-respected as Kim Kardashian to wear something that portrays us in such a bad light. I mean, people in the scientific community already have this image of being nerdy, and when you wear shirts like that, it just is unwelcoming to people who are geeky into the science community. Obviously, you guys know that I'm kidding, but it's actually not that far from the truth because recently, Matt Taylor was criticized on a website called The Verge, and it reads, It's a good thing you were joking because that's a massive false equivalency. Are you going to explain how it's a false equivalence? Because I don't see you doing that. The concept is basically the same thing. Um, they both are being criticized for wearing a shirt that depicts certain a certain group of people into nothing more as quote unquote sexual objects. I don't care if you landed a spacecraft on a comet, your shirt is sexist and ostracizing. TJ already commented on the ridiculousness of this article saying that the title in and of itself refutes itself, which it kind of does because people don't care about a huge leap in scientific advancements, they care more about the shirt. This is a red herring to distract the legitimate criticism that the shirt was inappropriate for a press conference. The shirt itself was not inappropriate. In fact, if it was reversed, if a woman was wearing nothing more than half-naked men, you wouldn't say sh It is not disparaging the scientific achievement which Matt Taylor, and not just Matt Taylor alone, the entire team. And yet, it doesn't change the fact that these feminists care more about a shirt than a achievement that could forward technology since when should we be ashamed to hide our bodies and if people appreciate that then more power to you i'd like to know why people aren't actually talking about kim kardashian more because recently another big thing in the news big thing in the news was her showing her butt everybody went crazy people said that it broke the internet now is it not sexist for her to post a picture of herself like that i mean technically you could say she's Showing a woman scantily clad, apparently that equals sexism. Not only is this a straw man, because the argument is not that the shirt is sexist. The argument is the shirt it was inappropriate in its context. And guess how it was inappropriate? By being quote-unquote sexist. Do you not understand what you're even defending at this point? It's also a false equivalency. There's a difference between taking pictures of yourself and posting them and wearing an inappropriate shirt at a press conference. But the concept is still the same fucking thing. The only difference is one is willing to show her own ass and the other one is drawn by a woman. But it's okay if she does it, right? It seems like in today's society, people are so afraid of sex. People are so afraid of the human body. They're afraid to show it off. They're afraid to look at it. They're afraid to talk about it. It's like this taboo thing. There's something wrong with that mindset. I mean, if you work out, if you work on your body, or even if you don't, if you're proud of the way that you look and you post that online, why is that degrading? Why does that necessarily have to be a bad thing? I mean, guys post pictures all the time with their shirts completely off and women aren't allowed to do that because obviously our nipples are far superior that we can't show them, but women can't post those types of pictures. But if we even post pictures showing our midriff, it's like people freaking lose their mind and they're like, oh my God, I can't respect you anymore because you showed about that much of your skin and apparently that makes you a bad person. Because you know, we apparently took a time machine back to when women had no rights and showing their bodies was some huge disrespectful thing. I kind of thought we moved past that, but apparently not. I see someone who rails against feminism so much, it's especially ironic to be making this argument because the reason women can now uh, you know, show off their bodies and do whatever they want with their own agency is mostly because of feminism. Which is a completely ironic because when it's done in movies or in, in shows or even in video games, it's objectification and therefore is wrong, is evil, and it must be stopped. Feminists enjoy this massive double standard. Apparently, it is only okay for a woman to get naked within her own free will. Draw a half-naked woman or uh, have a, a naked woman in any scene of any movie is considered sexist. 
That's the entire point of her argument. Matt Taylor's shirt was sexist because it contained half-naked women. That her friend, who was apparently female, made for him. Men's bodies plastered everywhere. I see them in commercials. I see them in billboards. I see them on Hollister bags. I mean, you guys have seen the Hollister bags, right? People walk around all the time at the mall holding bags with men just like, you know, ripped and just flexing and like, you know, there was one I saw one time of a guy like pulling his pants down a little bit. Are all the girls walking around with those types of bags sexist? Because apparently this guy wore a shirt with women on it and that makes him sexist. So all the little girls walking around the mall holding Hollister bags, they're all sexist. You know? Are the girls with the Hollister bags doing press conferences or at the workplace? There's probably a few women who work at certain places with Hollister bags. But again, if the roles were reversed, you would keep your mouth shut. You know what I think is sexist? I think this shirt is sexist. I think this shirt is sexist. That shirt is sexist. That shirt is sexist. That shirt is sexist. And this shirt, I mean, Actually, I get a lot of compliments when I wear that shirt. I get hit on by a lot more guys when I wear that shirt, and it's like one of my favorite things to wear in public. So, and this guy. The reason those shirts are not sexist in the same way that Matt Taylor's shirt may be perceived as sexist is because women do not hold the institutional power to oppress men. So let me get this straight. If the roles were reversed, it wouldn't matter. It would not fucking matter because she's not the oppressor. She is the oppressed. Therefore, all those shirts about hating men are justified because she's the one who's being oppressed. She's the one who cannot oppress men. Therefore, it is okay to hate men. You fucking asshole! You just justified hatred of men. You, sir, are completely sexist to your own fucking gender, and that is completely pathetic. This is a two-way street right here. Either A, all the shirts that depict men and women as sexual objects are either sexist or not sexist. Take your pick. And you want to know what the funny thing is? Many, many feminists have tried to justify feminism by using the fucking, the fucking dictionary. They literally Bible thump the fucking dictionary so fucking much. They're willing to say that you gotta look up the definition of feminism and that's it. You're a feminist. <laughs> Bravo. <sighs> and then abandon everything in the dictionary by saying that reverse sexism doesn't exist because women are the oppressed not the oppressors and until the day that women start oppressing men therefore you a woman cannot be sexist towards a man she can be prejudiced towards a man but not sexist and therefore it is justified to wear those shirts. It is completely fucking justified. Wow. For example, would you think that gay pride shirts are heterophobic? That's a false equivalence. Gay pride shirts are basically promoting homosexuality, not bashing heterosexuality. The shirts that she just shown was bashing the male gender. Now, if there were any shirts that was to promote the female gender, like say there's a shirt that says girls are awesome or girls rock, then that's fine. That would be totally fucking okay because it's not bashing one gender. It's not bashing anyone. So, yeah, gay pride shirts are not bashing heterosexuals in the same way that female pride shirts is bashing the male gender was brought to tears talking about it because of all the hate that he's getting because of all the attacks and threats that he's getting because of wearing this shirt 
Matt Taylor apologized not because he was bullied, but because he realized the shirt was inappropriate in the context in which he was wearing it. Bullshit! Dr. Taylor should have never apologized just to stroke egos of a feminist just like yourself. Seriously, you could probably lose your job thanks to feminism if you hurt a woman's feelings. Yeah, thank you feminism for making life a lot more difficult. I will say is that I don't think it's probably the most professional thing to wear a shirt like that to a setting where you're being interviewed. It's supposed to be kind of formal. I wouldn't walk in with my Hollister bag to the same type of thing. So, you know, I can kind of see what people are saying to an extent. But as far as calling him a sexist and all the hate that he's getting, I think it's just ridiculous. And Holy shit. We agree. It was inappropriate in the context. That is the argument. We all know the argument that these feminists are trying to say. It is sexist. Way overblown. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Do you agree? Do you think that he deserves all the hate that he's getting? Or do you think that it's a... Yes, I think the criticisms of Matt Taylor are valid because he's perpetuating microaggressions and the sort of things that keep women out of STEM fields. How? How does a shirt do that? You act like the shirt has some sort of special message that sends out towards women that says that women are not welcome in the working field. In addition to that, the shirt was inappropriate in the context in which he was wearing it. The shirt was not inappropriate, with or without the context. Oh, Hobbs. You are such a pathetic, sexist man towards your own kind. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace.